What's up everybody? So here we are again this week. We got the second part of our upgrades to the truck. This week we got the Monster Ram. Um, if you remember, if you saw my video last week, we did the differential cover install and uh, that thing is really, it looks really good. Super happy with that product. So let's turn to this box, okay? Like I said, the Monster Ram came in this week. We have two more things coming. We have the cold air intake, and we also have the boost tubes coming in. And as soon as they get here, it's install time. So, jump into these boxes. All right, so here is the box with Monster Ram. So, this is how it came in the mail. And as, uh, what's really cool, I love how to do this. Just a pair of smile here, so cool. Every time I see it, so far that I've gotten these, I've smiled every single time. Um, so inside the box, we have some reading material. I'll go over that in a moment. Some packaging. Here is the Monster Ram. And here is the intake plate. Clean this area a little bit. All right, so. Into the plate, Monster Ram. Let's go over. Oh, so exciting. Okay, so let's go into this first. We're going to paperwork, of course, first. So it's pretty similar to what we got in the same box as the diff or same step we got in the differential box. We got, of course, more stickers. My kids love stickers. These are really nice stickers too. So there's those. Here is the catalog with all the bank's products. Um, Shows, you know, what they have, exhaust systems. Here's the Monster Ram, of course. Their Air Mouse, Pedal Monster, iDash, all that stuff is in that catalog. Um, here is a thank you note. <clears throat> Pretty cool. From them, from Banks himself. It says thank you for your purchase. Kind of goes over items that should be in your kit. Um, this here is the install guide. I watched that this week, and this thing is going to be a bear to install. However, I don't think it'll be too bad. And then here's your registration QR code. Just scan the QR code for both of these. Registration pops up the link. Click the link. Follow the instructions. Input your information, and that's it. Registered for any warranty work you have to do. Probably won't have to do any, but it's nice to have. Uh, here's the packaging slip. Going over everything in the box. Um, a personalized letter from Banks himself. It's really neat. It says special delivery. It's really nice. I won't bore you with this too much, but I love that they do this stuff. It makes it very personal. You know, it makes it very one-on-one. -on -one. I appreciate that. It's very good and very cool what they do. And then here, just another registration option for your product. And you can try to check out some of Banks' stuff. Go to their websites. Sign up for their um, informative emails so on and so forth. And then this sticker here, I'm not entirely sure what this is. I think this is kind of letting, this is like a notification just saying that this particular item is emissions compliant. But if you know, feel free to drop it in the comments what this is exactly. I think that's what it is. But if I'm wrong, please, as of always, correct me. Um, so we'll save this baby for last. Let's get in here. So we have the intake plate. All right. Machine work on this thing is beautiful. It's, um, I mean, you can tell that their stuff is quality, man. Every time they get, every time we've, I've gotten something so far, it's been, this has been great. Um, so here's the intake plate. Here is the gasket. And then underneath, here is some more additional hardware. You have your heater upgrade, since you're getting rid of the great heater now. Right here. There is one of the plug extensions. There are three total. Here are spacers and caps, other things that nature. We'll dig into that in just a moment. So that is everything that's in this box. Put this back together. 
out of the way. So, really, seeing this is really, uh, this is really nice. Really beautiful product. Smooth machine work on this. I mean, there's no flaws on this thing whatsoever. Amazing. So as you, as you already know, the whole purpose of this plate upgrade is that you're getting rid of the grid heater altogether to restrict that does restrict a lot of the airflow that comes through your air intake. This gets rid of it, it's free flowing and makes it to where it flows a whole lot more air and makes it a little bit more, significantly more efficient as well. So here's this, as I mentioned, the gasket. And here, so when you're installing this, you have to completely remove your fuel rail system, all right? And that's where these little red tabs, these little red uh, cups come in. They will plug your fuel rail, so that way you, know, you make sure no debris falls in it, so on and so forth. You see one here just fell out right here. Um, brake line relocation bracket. That's uh, this dude right here. And then this one goes right here. And then four of these little spacers. So these spacers are for the fuel fuel rail. So on the stock <clears throat> grid plate, the so fuel, I can't remember exactly which holes it is, but I believe it's maybe these, I could be wrong. But anyway, on the stock plate, they have a little raised area for the fuel rail to sit on. So that's where these spacers come in. They go here, fuel rail sits on top of it, puts it back to stock height. Um, as of course, this is completely smooth doesn't have anything like that and that's what those are going to do um, here's a bolt comes in the bag here this little nut here I'm pretty sure goes on the heater let's see yep so what's interesting about this and I saw this in the install video and this is gonna be pretty neat and something that maybe is very important. So this, there's a nut that comes in here already. So you can see right here, this guy right here. They specifically state, do not remove this in the install video. And the reason why is because if this gets removed, you're putting a hot lead on top of this. The hot lead will come in contact with this here, cause a short, could make, could be just a whole slew of problems. So. Make sure you leave this nut alone if you do not watch the install video. Leave this there if it is applicable for your, your model vehicle. Um, there's that. So that's what all is in here. And of course, here is the one of the extensions here with the connectors. Plug and go. Whenever you install the Monster Ram, as you already know, probably it makes it puts a little bit of a bind on some of the stock cables, so they give you the extensions, makes it easy, just plug it in and run with it. That's really cool. They really thought of everything whenever they make this and uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's a hell of a kit. They gave you literally everything you needed to make it happen. Um, I'll be doing the work myself, of course, here in the garage and I'll make a video of that process. So let's get this put back up and then we'll go into the piece de resistance, the Monster Ram itself. And um, yeah, well, I'll just, I'll wait to get into that box first because what a treat, man, oh man. So move this out of the way. All right, so let's get into this. So here it is. Wonderful. Of course, there's the prepare to smile. What's really neat and really cracked me up was <laughs> the size of this thing, man. It is huge. And they know it, right? So this is why I say that. So see here, yes, it's really this big. <laughs> so I'm a pretty big guy, okay? I'm six foot two, 275 pounds. Like I'm I'm not I'm not a small man, so uh when I say this thing is big, I mean, I'll tell you this thing, it, may, it's gonna, it makes a statement, all right? So, so, yeah, here's the Monster Ram, and it's in a nice plastic package. And then here, 
There's more hardware. Okay. We'll dig into that. Move this box out of the way. Move this over here for a moment. So, in this package here is pretty much the kit with everything else you need to do the install. Um, so let's go into this real quick. Here is the new fuel line to reroute it over the Monster Ram because as you probably already know, the stock line, it will not clear. So Banks gives you this to make sure that this bad boy has plenty of room to do what it needs to do. So there's the fuel line. As I mentioned before, I am doing emissions intact upgrades to my vehicle. So I will be using this. This is the heat shield for the EGR tube. Pretty flashy, looks really nice. This is banks across the top, really cool. And then here is a whole bag of goodies here. So in this bag, let's open this guy up. A lot of bolts and everything like that. Well, actually, maybe I was wrong. There's only two connectors. I saw three on the hardware on the sheet, but I'll have to recheck and make sure. So my kit only came with two, and maybe because of my 20, my truck's 2021. Here's a second wire connector extension. Heat shrink tubing. So this here is used for whenever you so you watch the install video and you install the grid, the heating system. You have to do some customization, I would say. And this goes over, protects it to make sure nothing shorts out. Like I said, it's a hot lead that you put on top of the heater. This heat shrink goes over top of everything you do have to, everything you have to do to make that work, okay? Do not use a lighter doing this. And they tell you why in the install video, so make sure you watch that. Got a couple zip ties here. As always, never have enough of those. Couple bolts, pretty long. There's these two long bolts here. Here is a hex extension. I believe that this here is for getting into that bolt that's inside the monster ram that bolts down in the center to make sure that everything gets compressed down. I'll show you that exactly where that is in just a moment. Two new gaskets for the EGR or if you're using a block off plate for your delete, they give you two new gaskets for that. Here's this. Here is the throttle body gasket. Of course, the Monster Ram intake plate gasket. A couple more shorter bolts. Here's a few more bolts. Here is these are the plugs to plug the ports on the Monster Ram if you're, if you're not using, I guess, any go-go uh, -go juice or anything like that or anything else that's going to be bolting into the Monster Ram. As you know, it has a lot of capabilities. Um, more caps for installation purposes to keep debris from falling in. A couple washers, a couple other plugs, a spacer. And uh, this guy here, so this bolt here is if you decide not to use the heater, okay? This goes in the place of the heater, you need to block it off. I live in a hotter state, I'm probably just gonna install the heater, but if I decide not to, boom, they give you the option. If you wanna remove it, here you go. Um, here's that. So this is the part I was talking about. This is what goes, this is what you're gonna be connecting to your cable that attaches to your heater, okay? This lower hole bolts on to what's existing in the truck. This top hole bolts on to the heater. Heat shrink goes over top of that. Like so heat it up, shrink it, make it look nice, look professional. So that's what's gonna be replacing if you have a newer model vehicle like I do. Um, so yeah. That's what's in this goodie bag, with all the hardware. Of course, there's other, some other stuff, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'll have to recount all this later just to make sure that nothing's missing. As of right now, it looks like you should be good. So, get all this put up, and we'll get into the main 
attraction, right? As I said before, super excited to do these upgrades. Been wanting to do this for a long time now, and it is it is finally time. And uh, man, I just can't wait for the rest of the parts to get here. It's super hyped up, and um, yeah, and I want to film the whole journey, the whole process. I have yet to see, really, like I mentioned before, my other video, any 2021s with these upgrades coming up. If I have, maybe I've missed it, but it's, if they're there, they're few and far between. So that's really why I wanted to, you know, film this process. Give you guys out there that have newer vehicles something to check out, watch, get some education on. Answer any questions that maybe I have that now you don't have to ask. So let's get this put back up. Move it out of the way. Here's that. There's the fuel line. Don't be joking. Now, let's get into the good stuff. Here it, it is. In all its humongous glory. The Monster Ram. And as I mentioned, this thing, it, the name does it every bit of justice. It, truly is a monster okay I mean look at this I mean look at my look at this it's bigger than my freaking head right <laughs> so man it's just it's really cool when you put this underneath your underneath your hood it it's gonna make a statement I mean there's nobody gonna miss this when they miss they open your hood up at a truck show or just to show off something to your buddies whatever the case is they are going to see this right um <laughs> Really, really cool. The machine work on this is beautiful. I mean, it's aluminum casting. I believe I, I want to say that they do that. They're do they're they are three D printing these now. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. I remember seeing a video where they were doing three D printing on these now, and um, I don't know if they carry that over still if they're still doing that or not. But if that's the case, I mean, this is really neat to get to see that. Cable is a 3D printer, it's really cool. I don't know if you can see the side here or not. There's a groove. And yeah, you can kind of see it. That's where the EGR is. So that slit, that's where the exhaust gas recirculation happens, right? It's where it spits it back into the exhaust to go through one more time. Um, check this out. <laughs> see this hole here? See how, this is how big, right? So my whole fist. Put this whole thing in here and wear like a glove called the monster ram punch just like wow <laughs> really cool product super stoked i will be getting this powder coated i will be also getting the grid plate powder coated as well along with the boost tubes so i will do another unboxing video and i get my other products in but here is the monster ram in all its glory and um Stay tuned, I will have more. As soon as this beauty gets back from Powder Coat, it's install time, baby. So, talk to you next time. Have a good night.